The Sundarban stretches along the coastline of Bangladesh and India. It's by far the largest mangrove forest on Earth, six times the size of Greater London. Mangroves, with their bizarre aerial roots, are the only trees that can cope with the salty, waterlogged conditions. There are over 30 species of mangrove in the Sundarbans, and the biggest rely on one tiny animal to survive. Giant Asian honeybees feed on the nectar of the mangrove flowers and, in the process, pollinate them. These are the biggest honeybees in the world and also the most aggressive. They will defend their enormous hive to the death against any threat. But the precious honey in those hives is exactly what the boatmen are after. These men have pushed deep into the maze of over 400 waterways that crisscross the forest. They spread out to search, calling to keep in touch. Many people have been killed by swarms of these bees. 10 meters is the closest a man can safely approach. The threatened bees are primed to attack. But the honey collectors know the chink in their armor. When the bees smell smoke, they instinctively behave as if the forest is on fire. As far as they're concerned, the hive is doomed to burn and there's no point in trying to protect it. With the bees no longer aggressive, the men can go about their work. A good hive can contain up to 20 kilos of honey. This is liquid gold for these men, but even though they are poor, they choose not to take the whole hive. Wise collectors know that if there is to be honey here in years to come, they should leave a section of the hive behind, so the bees don't have to rebuild from scratch. The honey will fetch a high price, but many men pay an even higher price for collecting it. It's not swarms of bees that make this one of the most dangerous jobs in the world. The trails are crisscrossed with the tracks of the forest's most infamous residents. Tigers roam the Sundarbans, and they have a well-earned reputation for attacking people. Honey collectors are especially at risk because tigers rest in the dense vegetation where the beehives are also found. Tigers kill up to a hundred people every year in this forest. Nobody knows why so many people are killed here. The tigers are hardly ever seen and are little understood. <laughs> 